taking new patients because of the possibility of death. It's a controversial alternative therapy used to treat someone who suffered a heart attack. In 2002, we told you about a study where heart attack survivors are given chelation therapy, an intravenous infusion typically used to treat heavy metal poisoning. Launched at Mount Sinai Medical Center, it became the largest federally funded alternative medicine study. Now it's under investigation because of some deaths. As the principal investigator of the study, I'm actually not allowed to know that number so that I don't alter the management of the clinical trial. I do know that in the 22,000, over 22,000 infusions that we have given, there has not been a single death caused directly by an infusion that went in too fast. If this amino acid, EDTA, used in chelation is given too quickly, there is a risk of death. That is not the case in this closely monitored trial, says Dr. Lamas, who is now with the University of Miami. The study probe is looking into claims that all risks were not fully disclosed to participants and that several doctors involved had been disciplined. There were some individuals who, along the course of the trial, like with every other study, had some sort of problem. And some of those, or actually many of those, ended up being dropped. So, so you've had to drop, how many, how many doctors did you it, say you've had to drop? It, it's a handful of people that have been dropped. While the Office for Human Research Protections investigates, researchers have stopped enrolling new volunteers.